Have you ever heard the phrase, speak of the devil and he shall appear? <laughs> now, I'm not going to try to conjure the devil, but my name is Chris Westfall and I am the author of Easier. And one of the things that I've discovered is that when we speak of things, sometimes they appear. And so in this video, I want to speak of a few things. First of all, I want to introduce myself and let you know how excited I am to work with you. And I'm thrilled that you have taken the time to take a look at Easier. In this video, I'll share some ideas and some prompts that might help you to get more out of the book and to prepare you for our conversations around coaching so that you can show up at your best and help others to do the same and allow coaching to be a part of, of who you are and the impact that you create in the world. First of all, I, I want to share where this book came from. You know, this isn't the book that I, that I set out to write, but it's the book that I needed to write. And quite frankly, it's, it's the book that I need to read <laughs> because as someone who has been a specialist and being hard on himself, it was important for me to look in the direction of easier. For me, easier always exists. Mm -hmm. It always exists, even when I, when I don't see it. And if you've read the book, you're familiar with the story about the discovery of the South Pole, which really wasn't the discovery of anything. The South Pole had always been there. The explorers that were the first to reach it simply arrived at that place, a place that it had existed since the earth was formed. So our journey as coaches and in the collaboration that we're about to create together is about making new discoveries. And in some cases, we're gonna discover what's already there. In fact, if you think about it, that might be in every case because whatever it is that you're trying to create for yourself right now, for your team, for the organization as a whole, well, where's that creation gonna come from? The answer is not some guy on a video, not inside a book, but actually inside of you. And so as we begin our work together, I wanna to point you towards the place where insights come from, and that is your own personal experience. What is the experience that you would like to create for others, and how can we help you to do that? The book, Easier, if you notice it, it begins with a coaching mistake. Did you see it? Did you recognize the coaching mistake that causes the client to actually walk out of the coach's house? That coaching mistake points to the difference between coaching and management. So what exactly is the difference between coaching and management? That's the first question that I wanna to pose to you. And how do you see the coach in the story setting the stage for a different kind of conversation? Because in my experience, and hopefully in yours too, receptivity is a big part of the coaching conversation. Helping people to be open to new insights is the first step in finding them. So how do you see the coach opening up the conversation? And what is it that changes for the client so that he can open up and receive some new ideas? And those ideas aren't always easily received, are they? As we begin our work together, our focus is on creating receptivity, of speaking of the things that will help you most, of finding the words and the stories and the connection that drives results so that you can overcome mistakes, especially when you see, as the coach and the client discover later in the story, that there are no mistakes. <laughs> If that sounds a little hard to believe, I encourage you to take a look at the book and look at your own experience. I mean, things that, that I would call mistakes in my past, you might look at and say they were just choices. I mean, I've been married for a very long time and I have a great relationship with my wife, but it's because of the breakups that I had and the mistakes that I made when I was younger that, that I became a, a, a loving husband. And believe me, some days are better than others. But still, I am who I am because of my past or maybe in spite of it. You see, the past reminds us. It does not define us. And as you think about how you'd like to define yourself, the identity that you can step into, which is a big part of this book, what does that look like for you? Who are you when you aren't on your mind? 
In our conversation, we'll talk about how to create receptivity, how to open up the conversation, how to introduce possibilities, and we will understand clearly and deeply the difference between management and coaching. And both of those things have their place. How do you place yourself at the center of effectiveness and impact? That's our discussion. So as you think about the book easier, where did you find yourself relating to the story most? What did the story illustrate or illuminate inside of you? Where did you find yourself relating to the coach, relating to the client, or relating to a story that was completely different than something going on in the book, but somehow the book sparked that in your imagination? My name is Chris Westfall. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to watch this video. Thank you for taking a look at my book and I look forward to, to learning more about the insights that you have gained and sharing perspectives as we look in the direction of your success.